My name is Jeb McKeon, and today we're going to talk about some Social Security Disability Basics. So Social Security Disability, that's a mouthful, is a type of payment people can receive from the government, federal government, on a monthly basis when they are unable to work. And so what they will do is they will apply with or without an attorney to the Social Security office to receive benefits on a monthly basis. And they will go through a process, they'll put in their application and it will go through a review. Many applications are denied on the first review and then it will go before an, an administrative law judge to determine whether the person is entitled and should receive social security disability benefits. They go through a five-step process. First question they will ask is, is the person currently working? The person's currently working, obviously they are not disabled and not entitled to benefits. Second uh, question they will have to go through is, is the condition severe? That means, is it keeping the person out of work or has it for a period of greater than 12 months? The third step in, or question in the process is, is this disability listed on the federal list of items or um, disabilities that keeps a person from working, like a heart condition or depression or back issue, something on the federal list of items that's approved as a disabling condition. The fourth step is, can the person go back and do the work they did pre prior to getting injured? And these are the big important steps, steps four and five. If a judge finds that the person is not so disabled that they can go back and do prior work, then they cannot be considered disabled. The fifth step and most important step is, can they do any work in the US that is available to them? So if you are under the age of 55 and there are any jobs that you can be deemed to do in the US, then they will generally not find you disabled because they say, look, you can go and get this job, you can go and get this job, and our research says this many exist out in the US. However, if you were over the age of 55, you are considered untrainable for a new profession. You are considered so old that you cannot learn a new profession. Now, as offensive as that is to people over 55, it makes it easier to get disability benefits. So that's the five-step process. That is a very basic uh, primer on the Social Security Disability benefit steps and how you have to work through them in order to be approved. You can find out more about this legal issue and other legal issues by going to my website, attorney-knoxville.com. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. You can also view my other YouTube videos.